In a split second, his neck is broken. Rescued by the jet ski, he lies motionless, fearing he may never walk again. Handling themselves in big surf is the ultimate test for Bondi's lifeguards. In those conditions, one lifeguard stood head and shoulders above the rest. On a remote bombora off southern Tasmania, a single wave would cement Kobe Graham's reputation as one of the best big wave surfers in Australia. He has full respect from all the boys. That's the one thing, 100%. Everyone respects Kobe's abilities in the water and how hard he charges in big waves. He goes so mad in big waves, he's got no fear. Catching big waves is just, you just get a good kick out of it. It's kind of like a combination of fear and, you know, and, and adrenaline that gets it going and it gets the, gets the blood pumping and it's just no way better feeling of sort of being scared but surviving. Eight months ago, one of the most dangerous breaks in Australia was going off. Just south of Sydney, hours breaks in waist deep water, metres in front of cliffs. Kobe was taking on one of surfing's ultimate challenges. Towing into his third wave, Kobe catches an edge. He is sucked over the falls, then slammed head first into the reef. Oh, no. In a split second, his neck is broken. Rescued by the jet ski, he lies motionless, fearing he may never walk again. An air ambulance evacuates him to the spinal unit of Royal North Shore Hospital and two hours of emergency surgery. A star of the reality TV show, Bondi Rescue, has been told he may never surf again. Miraculously, his spinal cord wasn't severed. I thought I was lining myself up perfectly for, uh, um, you know, for a nice wave and just went straight up, head first over my board. And, um, and it all of a sudden it just sucked me up upside down. And then I just remember hitting the reef really violently in my head. And then I, I knew straight away, I sort of broke my neck here. And then my tow partner came in and I, and I was just screaming at him. I said, broken my neck, I've broken my neck. And I was thinking about being a quadriplegic more than anything. And so I've just talked him through what to do the whole way, pretty much. So I was, I was pretty lucky to have that spinal training from being a lifeguard, you know. He hasn't faulted one bit. No, the whole time, except for when he talks about, you know, how much support there's been for every, everyone. That's the only time he's, you well, know. I never really th thought I was going to die, but it was, it was pretty scary to think you might want to walk. But, um, yeah, I guess it just... just makes me appreciate how good people are. I just get pretty emotional when I think about all the support I've had. Um, Just everyone, just my family, my girlfriend. Kobe will walk again. Whether he can ever return to lifeguarding is less certain. If you imagine here the canal through the middle yeah. is the spinal canal, yeah. and that's what transmits the spinal cord. But if you look now at what we've done, in there where the disc was, there's now a little dowel of bone graft. Uh, we've popped on that titanium alloy plate. Yeah. And what that does is just simply give you a little bit of extra security while the bone graft is healing in. Cool. Oh, great, he's done an awesome job. He's been extraordinarily lucky, and I think he's come uh, very close to, um, uh, you know, a terrible outcome. Back at Bondi, the band of brothers have been deeply affected. 
Toby and I are really close, you know, and we've surfed together growing up and we've always had the same jobs. We've always been really close, but this has brought us even closer, you know, sort of knowing how close your brother was to never walking again or, or, or dying, sort of. We're going to do everything we can to make sure he's down here rescuing people again. Go for it and pick it up. Meanwhile, Kobe Graham Good. is still recovering after breaking right, his bring neck. Down. How's that feel? Good. So come up. up Following up, up, up. months in a spinal One. collar, yeah. he's determined to return to lifeguarding. When you come up to the top, you're just going to snatch it. Quickly, snatch. <sighs> when Kobe came in first, he came in with Alex, his uh, fiance, and um, she was actually stronger than him. So it was a case of slow and steady wins a race. But Kobe is itching to get back in the water. Everything's been going pretty well so far. All the visits have been, you know, been progressing really well. Um, so, yeah, just hoping to maybe get the all clear to start getting back to work. I want you to reach up to the ceiling and push yeah. up hard as you can and overpower me. Good. And this one? Push, push, push. That's pretty good. The issue, I guess, is what to do with you uh, with work. I, I'd really prefer if you held off a good 12 months from the time of the... Yeah injury before you got back on a, a board oh. and even then I'd prefer it if you didn't repeat the, um, the yeah. caper. But so, will Kobe um, heed yeah, doctor's that's, advice that's, that's, and stay yeah, out of the water for another that's, two months? That's, 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 Good on you. Thanks. OK, bye-bye. I'm just trying to put the brakes on him a little bit because, uh, uh, you know, he's going to be tempted to, to do too much. It soon becomes clear doctor's orders have fallen on deaf ears. You know, I'm slowly getting back in the water and I'm doing some swimming training and building up my strength in the gym. So, look, I think I'm, I'm going really good. Every time you improve a little bit, you just want to do more and more. And I'm not stupid. I'm not going to injure myself in the process, but I guess you just do as whatever your body can do. Like, you just, if you can do something, you'll do it, you know? It's pretty hard to stop yourself. So, yeah, I'm not going to, like, rush into it, but I'm going to... If I can get back on the beach, I'll be back on the beach. But there's still one more person to convince before Kobe can even think of pulling on the uniform. And the job we do here is something that is a concern to me because, you know, he could be out in massive waves again. One could freeze up because of the, the thought of his neck and one could injure himself again. So we've got to put him through some rigorous tests to make sure he's capable and uh, confident enough to come back. Finally, the day of the lifeguard's annual Ironman challenge. There's one unexpected late entrant. Kobe Graham, who broke his neck eight months earlier. I don't really know what to expect, so I just want to put in a good effort and, and hopefully it doesn't hurt too much and, you know, impress the lifeguards and so everybody sort of says, you know, Kobe's ready to come back to work. Just finishing the race will be a major achievement for Kobe. Ahead of him is a two-kilometre run to Tamarama a one kilometre swim to Bronte, then a two and a half kilometre board paddle all the way back to Bondi. My best mate, Tom Woody, he's a pro surfer, he's doing the race with me, he's going to run alongside me, so keep an eye on me. All right, the first markers, off go. Tommy Witts, Kobe Graham, Egg Bunting, Itchy. Ready? And let's go! Kobe falls back to third at the beginning of the swim leg. How are you, mate? How are you feeling? How are you doing? Pretty buggered, eh? Head lifeguard Hoppo closes in as backmarkers Harry's and Bacon waste no time making ground. Kobe still holds third position on the swim, but is starting to struggle. There you go, mate. You got it right here. It's the final leg of the Ironman Challenge, a two-kilometre board paddle back to Bondi. Itchy holds the lead, but remarkably, Kobe manages to pull up into second position. I'm really hurt. Kobe Graham, coming back from a busted neck. Hey, what a great effort. <laughs> but Kobe has a new set of challenges nipping at his heels. Itchy still leads, but Kobe Graham, just eight months after breaking his neck, stays with the front of the pack. Itchy, Kobe, they're, they're tied. They're, you can get them. Look, they're just there. Hello, we've got a breakaway crew, front runners. We've got Azabaka and Itchy 
Tommy Witts and Kobe. The final run to Bondi. When competitors step up or drop away, Kobe still holds his own with the front runners. That'd be awesome if he won. It could be that step he needs to get the confidence to come back on the team. I just want to see a man that broke his neck come in first. Kobe's best friend, pro surfer Tom Whitaker, has shadowed him all the way to cheer him on. The lifeguard who can crack a wave to shore will win. Kobe! And Tommy wins. Kobe and Tommy wins. It is! <laughs> it's a Cinderella, Cinderella story! <laughs> Oh, the face, look at his face. Just eight months ago, Kobe wasn't sure he would ever walk again. Awesome. Go, Itchy. Come on, Azza. Itchy comes in second, followed by Azza, with Harry's defeating rival Bacon. I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to prove myself I'm, I'm back. It was probably the hardest I've ever pushed myself in my life. And I feel like everything paid off, all that training and rehab. I was really, really happy with myself. You can't get much better tests, I suppose, to see, make sure he's right to come back to work after a major neck injury. And you know, he seems to have come through pretty, pretty good then. <laughs> he didn't even tell us he was going in it. <laughs> and we had dinner with him last night. It was a bit of a Cinderella story, but it was, it was a good feeling. <laughs>